Hello everyone! Welcome to my giant, big, new, grand, immersive farm layout. Today I'm going to be messing around with this. We're going to plant more crops than we've ever planted before and doing a bunch of other stupid stuff. Just because I can. Just going to take a minute, wait for everyone to get in here. Hi, hello everyone, welcome. I need to know how the music volume is compared to everything else, because for the first time ever, I'm running the music volume out of another program separate from this, so I need to make sure it's good before I move on. I had to change the music volume, or rather put it separately, that way I would have continuous music here, it wouldn't die out after a few hours every time. Hi, 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 hello everyone, hello, 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 just started. Hello, I'm gonna say hello to everyone coming in. Hello from Asia, hello Asia, Surrey, hi, how are you? Can't hear the music, can't hear the music, oh, I wonder if the music's not even gonna show through then. Can anyone else hear the music or no? It's okay? Kinda quiet? I could turn it up a bit. I didn't just worry about it being too loud. Music is fine. Okay, I'm gonna leave the music there. As long as you guys can hear it and it's not too loud, that's my only concern. So hello, welcome. Now that I've got that out of the way, this is the immersive farm. I probably should have put a link to that in the description, but if you need it, uh, someone will link it for you. So this is what the layout looks like. That's where my house goes now. I have this area up here. I have a minecart. I can ride that places once I unlock it. I don't have it yet. Yeah, it's a new farm mod. I meant to put that in the description, but I didn't because I'm stupid. This is a typical way out of your farm over this way. It just brings you here. Nothing's different over here. I can change this later. Okay, moving down. This is what we got over here. Some logs, another area. That's typically reserved for like barns and animals, I think, is kind of the point of it. The area is over here. I haven't really wandered around this too much, so we'll explore this together real quick. It's huge. Hello from New Brunswick. Hello, other side of Canada. That's a long ways away. Nothing up here. Little pond there. Fishing, swimming, everything. Okay, the mods say the volume's good, so the volume is good. Not gonna mess with it anymore. And the best part, you can come all the way over here too, and there's a whole giant field over here for me to play with. You can go down there as well, plant over there. Look at all this room I have. Can your voice be my Siri? Yes. Hope you're willing to pay for that service. I don't come cheap. Hello from Russia. Hello, Russia. People from all over the place. This, I'm pretty sure, is just a big open planting field. You can actually plant on this grass. You can hoe the grass away. Okay, cool. I can write something here real quick. I'm not gonna though because I'm too lazy, but I could. So that's all this area is. It's just a big plantable area, one single tree. Don't think we can cut this guy down. Nope. Simply there for aesthetic purposes. Bus stop. Oh, okay, so it even lets us go to the bus stop from down here. Oh, really? It's a one-way. One-way gate. Stream says offline. Stream should be online. Should be good. Try hitting refresh if that's the case. Though if it's offline, you can't hear me talking, so there's no point in me telling you that. Alright, our greenhouse is at the typical location it looks like. Same distance away from the house, though. Obviously, this area is all different. That goes to the mountains. Uh, let's go find the cave real quick. I want to see what that looks like now, too. Haven't played with this one yet. I just know it's huge. If you plant every space, it's something like a little over 10,000 plants. Imagine that. Not much going on up there. I don't know where the cave is unless it's in there in the water Which it might be big rock in the way need a better pickaxe. Well luckily for me. I'm cheating so that won't be a problem uh, Maybe it will be I have to actually type Pickaxe iridium there. We are no problem. Nothing's gonna stop me today gone. Uh, yeah, in there, there's a link to my Twitch. If anyone wants to follow me on Twitch as well, there's the link. I'm going to start streaming on there at some point. Maybe even tonight, later on. We'll see. I don't know where the cave is. Grandpa's shrine is in blue flowers, though. Grandpa, good news. I found you. I'm going to bring you back from the dead using my mods. I'm just kidding. I wish you could do that. Wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. That's really creepy. Zombies come to Stardew Valley. Why am I using my axe to clear plants? Uh, because I can. Because I enjoy it. Take your pick. We'll go down and look at the water down here. There's some water down here. Yeah, that's uh, 
the mod is the immersive farm i meant to put a link in the description it's on nexus mods it's really easy to find it's, i think it's simply called immersive farms i'll add a link to the video once it gets uploaded anyway and i need another axe to get anywhere um axe a lost axe Ooh, i can find all of robin's lost axes i didn't know i could do that i did also notice that when i get to stardew valley i haven't played anywhere yet but i'm already friends with lewis and Robin for some reason. I don't know why I'm friends with Robin. I just got here. There you go. There's a couple links to the mod. There's the uh, pond area. There's a swimming area there, I think. I think I can get to that. We'll go for a little swim before we start planting and doing stuff. These logs are in the way from the start of your game. So if you want to play this, you won't immediately have access to all this. You're going to have to deal with the rocks first. So either cheat or upgrade your tools. Can I do anything with those ones? That's okay. We'll go this way. Big waterfall. Nothing over here. More plantable area though. When I go to plant this, I'm pretty much just going to bomb everything. Clear the way easier. Turn flash effects off, of course. That way I don't give anyone epileptic seizures or anything exciting. Nothing up there. I'm still not familiar with the layout of this, so it's going to take me a little while to navigate. It's all pretty straightforward. It's just so big it takes me a while to get anywhere. Uh, Panic Tank, thank you very much. Uh, that might be a copyrighted song, Rick Astley. Uh, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and hurt you, never... Oh, hold on. Run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna make you say goodbye, and never gonna tell a lie and hurt you, BB. I do try and read all the uh, donation texts, by the way, too, so, you know, feel free to do something stupid. I know I certainly would. Going this way. I already still have a small backpack too, so I can only hold so many things, so I'm going to get rid of things I don't need. Also don't need that. Really? Okay, I gotta hold on to that. I thought I could get rid of it once I had the new one. Anyways, look at this. I can swim on my farm finally. I don't know if this gives you, gives you energy or does anything at all. Oh, there's a second donation. Did I completely miss that? Thank you for the $5 donation, whoever that was. It's not showing up on my thing, though. Thank you again. Sorry, if there was a, if there was a text to go with that, let me know and I'll read that again. It's not showing up in my chat for some reason. Oh, there it is. Lauren Carruthers. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your $5. I'm back. Yeah, that wasn't showing up there at first. Having one of those days where nothing I'm doing is going right, so this is going to be a complete disaster. And I'm excited for that. At least we got the music today. I got the music right, I think. That should cycle through Stardew Valley songs, play different ones. Should be interesting. Anyways, now that we got the farm tour more or less out of the way, let's start bombing it and clearing some land. Then we can start planting some probably ancient fruit. I think ancient fruit's going to be the good way to do it. Uh, just going to turn off the bombing uh, thing as soon as I find it. Um, I passed it already, didn't I? Oh, right there. Show flash effects off. Uh, that's how you turn off the bombing flash. Because it annoys people, it annoys me. And it's also hard in your frame rate. And if anyone has epilepsy, that's a no-no. Um, not that one. Need this one. Bombs? Mega bombs? Gonna blow up my whole farm. Arms. Need a bunch of arms. I am also invincible and have infinite energy currently. That way I can do this without hurting myself. The benefit is I hoe as I blow. That's catchy. I'm going to write that down and put that somewhere. Just bomb everything. Watch your whole farm clear itself out. That's all that's going to turn from this lovely looking green area into a whole experience. Okay, here we go again. Panic take. Somebody once told me the world is going to roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb and the shape of an L on her forehead. BB. Uh, I can't remove the bushes though. It's not like the forest farm. You want to pay me $10 to read that whole song line by line? I'm game. I don't care. I'll do it. Thank you for your donation. And also we need to explore the minecarts too. See where exactly those can take us. Because I understand they could probably take you all around the farm. So we'll unlock those with the community center pretty shortly. Before we get to that, we've got a large crop to do. 
I should have almost done this in summer so I could do the uh, rare seed or fall whenever it grows. I can't remember. Okay, you can't get that area either. There's a swing set on a tree for all my kids that I don't have. This game doesn't know me at all. Uh, what mod is this? This is the immersive uh, farm layout mod. Uh, people keep posting links in the description. The mods do it. Uh, I meant to put a link in the description like I said, but I'm stupid so I forgot. So sorry about that. My apologies. This is a really cool mod. I really like this one. Like I was saying, you can plant over 10,000 plants on this, so this is going to be outrageously time consuming. This mod doesn't cost money. It's free, isn't it? Nexus mods? You might need to make an account. I don't think so, though. I don't know, though. I'm actually not really that, like, familiar with mods. And these big ones don't blow up with the uh, bombs, so I'm going to have to manually do them. I hate it when I manually got to do things. A couple bombs here. Boom, boom, boom. Blow it up. Just going to work my way all around the farm. And I'm going to fertilize the seeds, too, when I go to do them. I guess I don't need to pick up everything along the way. I guess I can't get a bigger backpack yet, or can I? I don't know. Back? Nope. Pack? I don't know what it's actually called, but I don't think I can get a bigger one, so I'm stuck with my limited tools. Uh, that's not the end of the world. I've got a solution for that if it gets too annoying. I'm just thinking for all the stuff lying on the ground is going to get annoying to look at. I do like the way they put their uh, stones and, and stumps everywhere around too to get in your way. That way you have to clear out more of your field. Normally they put those in like the bottom and lower left side of the field on a normal farm. And that's mostly out of your way. I like how they're right in your way right away. You gotta deal with them. Somewhat annoying, but I like it. Get rid of that one. Boom. Just gonna take care of all these. Break up the monotony. I thought about doing Skull Cavern again today, but I just, by the time I got to today, I really wasn't feel like doing that. Really didn't feel like doing that because, well, that's going to take a long time again. It takes hours to do anything and it's so repetitive. But I will do that. I might do that on Sunday or maybe the next week. I'm not sure yet. I don't know why I'm uh, cutting those trees down. I should be blowing this all up. That's the only way to do it more land down here. The farm just keeps going and going and going. I don't think I've even been down here yet, have I? Or have I? Is this where the water is? Oh, well, this is where the cave is. Way down here, finally. The farm's so big that I can't even see it all. We'll go take a look at the cave, see if that's any different. I didn't manually mod the cave or anything, but I suspect it could be different. Just because everything's different with this mod. We've got these big trees. We got a ladder going up. That's just a shortcut. More bombs. More bombs. Let me know if the music does anything weird too. It's supposed to be on like uh, shuffle. So we should get different songs all through the uh, evening here. Different songs as we go. And I'm not really going to be paying that closely attention to it. So if it's repeating a song too much or something, let me know. It was actually annoyingly hard to set that up. Like normally a program like that you think would be click on make a playlist. Good, that makes sense. And then drag and drop the songs you want. But no, nope. it wants to add whole albums and do all sorts of weird stuff. So you have to add entire albums. You have to find the albums, add them, and then remove the songs you don't want. Instead of just simply adding the ones you want. Like how intuitive is that? I couldn't believe it. So many technical issues today. How's my cave? Wonderful. Wonderful as always. Beautiful cave. Can't move those. Can't move those. So I'm going to have to plant around a bunch of stuff, but that's okay. Because that always looks cool. I actually really like doing that. I enjoy the appearance. I'm going to run out of bombs before I get this all done. I can't wait to see how much this is worth too. Ancient fruit. Ancient fruit are the best fruit. Actually, I really hate the ancient fruit. Well, I don't hate them, but I just hate the way you have to harvest them every week. If you have a giant crop, they make you a lot of money, but then you got to pick them every week, and that's really annoying to me. I've just done it too many times, that's all. There's my big field over there. I haven't even started on that yet. I'm still clearing out this stuff. 
It's nice how that field over there to the right though comes like cleared. All you gotta do is hoe it. You don't need to move all the crap out of the way like you do with this mess. Looks like you need an upgraded axe to destroy this gnarled old log. Done. So easy with cheats. Should have done this right from the beginning. Is there another one? There is. Gotcha. We'll keep going and going and going until we complete this stupid task. 10,000 plants. 10,500. Something like that. Fertilized. Biggest farm ever. But I really just wanted to show off this farm now because this is really cool. It's got a lot of things going on. It's huge. You could do like a whole bunch of everything if you wanted to. No big deal. And it's just fun to get back to Stardew Valley again too. I've been playing a lot of other games recently. I go in waves where like I get kind of over Stardew Valley. Like I'm tired of it because I've been playing it too much. Then I'll play other games but then I want to come back. Once I'm done this I want to take a break again. So you know love-hate relationship like always. I think this whole area down here is done. I don't know why I'm walking so slow. Why didn't anyone tell me to move faster? You guys are supposed to be on me about this stuff. I think I get a few spots in there actually. That should do it. We'll go up top. Hippity hopper way up top. Am I blowing these things up? Nope, nope, they'll stay there. Good. Bombs everywhere, that's better. You're not trying hard enough if the game's not slowing down. High speed bombing. That's the way to do it. Couple spots up here. Clear out some more of this crap. Uh, wrong pickaxe. I thought about streaming some of the other games too, but. Eh. Stardew Valley is the way to go. I've been playing a lot of Yonder lately, but once I got into it, it felt like there was a lot to do, but after 10-12 hours, I realized that there just wasn't really actually that much left. Like, I'd already... There's not really any progression in that game. You just kind of explore everything, and then it's all explored, and then you don't really have anything left except for doing, you know, quests for people. I might be missing something still, though. I haven't really looked into a lot of the crafting and questing and stuff. I've just been looking for sprites and exploring, trying to find all the cool stuff. <clears throat> and that's why <clears throat> that's why I'm not playing it right now or haven't gotten back to it quite yet. If I want to make a video on it, I want to make sure there's something there that's good. For example, I'm bombing a field for the next hour and people want to watch that somehow, so cool. Good content is always from this channel. One spot there. Boop. Whoop. I uh, missed again. Got it. Got it. This feels huge. I'm gonna like get lost and forget to plant stuff for sure. Just keep running around, blowing it all up. Can't go that way, this way. I am also sort of sick right now too, so my voice might be a little off, or my brain for that matter. Definitely not feeling super great today. I'm gonna power through it for this stream. That one and that one. Might as well clear a bunch of these out right now while I'm holding my axe. And the pick. I'm gonna make a chest in a bit to store some of these extra tools. It's just annoying me having to carry them around. Wasted energy. Because I'm so efficient otherwise. Bomb some stuff there. I don't know what that spot down to the left is. Oh, I can get there down here. I get it. This field's almost too big. Like, it's hard to hoe it all. Or bomb it all, I should say. I'd never do this with the hoe. Way too much work. Oh, there's a winter song. So we're still on shuffle. Good. That's one of the other things that was starting to annoy me about uh, the streams for this game. The music. It like kills itself after so many hours throughout a day, so doing something like this, the music would have been gone already and I would have been doing this without music the whole time. That background music just makes it a little more peaceful. I think so anyway, it gives a little bit more atmosphere. Panic, plant melons. Um, I'm already hoed well through uh, this day to plant melons, I'd have to skip to summer and I'd lose all my hoe. 
Hode. Is that my hose? Hode spaces? I might make a video on that. Because once I have it planted to ancient seeds, it'll stay planted and growing till winter, so I can, at that point, change it up. But for now, for now, we're doing ancients. Because they're super valuable. I need more bombs already. I'm already picking up crap. This is no good. No good at all. I really want to get rid of some things. Let me... Nope. Okay. More bombs. Bombas. Oh, where'd it go? Mega bomb. Oh yeah, not plural. We'll get extras just in case. I do go through them rather quickly. Bomb, 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 bomb. There we go. That's progress. Like I said, if the game's not slowing down, there's not enough bombs on the ground. Bust that up. There we go. And I'm also not going to bother to repair the greenhouse at this point. There's just no point. In case you're wondering. I'll probably comp complete the community center when I'm done this harvest, this crop, but... That's just for fun to see the minecarts and stuff anyway. I do also have the Forge at the Farm mod on here too, so forgeable goods will show up here. Or probably they would have when it was all grass. Now that it's all dirt, I don't think they will. But that's okay, because I don't need foraging, because I have everything I need right in my uh, cheat menu. Oh, there's actually a horseradish right there. I lied. There is stuff here already. Sky's the li limit now. I've got one horseradish. Like I was saying, now that there's a whole bunch of people here, uh, I do have a Twitch account. You guys can follow me there. I might start streaming tonight. I might start this weekend. Maybe tomorrow morning. I'm not sure yet. I'm really impulsive with all these things. But I really do I really do want to use it. It's just a matter of me actually being like, hey, I'm going to do this now. I have lots of opportunities to stream. It's just a matter of actually doing it. And I've been thinking about that. Because for the last while I've had kind of like scheduled plans for like what videos I'm making with this channel and everything. And I think for the next little while I'm going to do it more like impulsively. Because I always make these plans I'm like oh that looks like a great game like I'll start that tomorrow or the next day. And then by the time the day rolls around I'm not really as into it and I want to try something else. And then I get kind of a half-assed product out of it so I think it's going to be a little more impulsive. It's kind of what I want to make or play that day and that's the way it's going to be. Just more crap as always. Never ending crap. I was kind of disappointed. I was hoping I would get more content out of Yonder that I could like really run with it and make a whole bunch of videos, but I'm not really seeing the capacity there. For example, it came out, what, three, four days ago? And I'm already streaming Stardew Valley over it. What does that tell you? It tells you that Stardew Valley is amazing, that's what. I think I've almost got this hoed. Well, I, got, I still got to do the whole other field, but this is getting pretty close. And any little spots that I miss along the way, I'll just get those when I actually go to plant, I guess. Look at that dog house. Bigger than my house. If that was in Vancouver, that'd be $4 million. Okay, I think that's mostly this upper field, whatever you want to call it, the main field. So we'll go over to the side field. You can just skip right on through. We'll bomb that anyway. I'm not sure if you can plant it, but I'm going to try. Yeah, they probably got it. We got all that area. Okay. So, we'll just keep running around planting bombs everywhere. This is going to be a ridiculous crop. I might actually do scarecrows for once, just for fun. Just to change it up a little bit. There's the mod link in the description right now. But you have to scroll up a little bit by the time you get to me saying it. You can throw your tools away in a creative trash can. This one? Oh, you can. Nice. Thank you. I didn't know that. Um... 
Okay, we don't need any of that stuff anymore, do we? We're cheaters now, so I don't have to do anything I don't want to. I was gonna add a few more crazy mods onto this too. To make like the whole experience like a lot more like crazy and entertaining, but I was really worried about crashing it at this point because obviously I don't want to crash and lose my progress. It's already been 25 minutes. What is this? Water pump? Hello? It's pumping water to other places. Better not touch it. Touch whatever I want. It's my farm. Eh, probably just want some bombs going off around it. There you go. One mega bomb for this sensitive pump. Pam, <clears throat> drunk people are pro fighters. Pam's a monster. I'm still waiting for like a Pam monster mod. It's only a matter of time. Okay, I'm gonna ease up on the bombs for a sec. Getting a little laggy there. Good. I thought we were gonna crash. Crash and burn. Don't wanna do that. If I lose 25 minutes of progress now, I'll be so mad. So mad. What is the max uh, star fruit you can eat? The, uh, what are they called? Star drops? I don't know. Can I summon those? Oh, I can. Cool. I didn't know I could do that. Uh oh. Is that actually going to work? Can I eat these endlessly? 304 energy right now. It didn't seem to do anything. I'm hoping that gets rid of them, otherwise I'm going to get stuck in a loop of eating star drops. I don't want to do that. I got worried when I ate the first one that I was going to be like stuck in a loop of eating those now. I'm going to be a little more uh, conservative with my bomb usage, that way I don't lose the frame rate like that too bad. It doesn't like blowing up this grass very much, it has a really tough time like changing it into dirt. But like I said, I'm not going to hoe all this. No way. Even with my bigger hoe, not worth my time. Bombs are the way. I hate grass, don't I? I do hate grass. Grass does not produce me anything of value. It's even more useless than the kids, because at least forgeable goods can grow in grass. Kids don't do anything but get in my way. Take away from my production. Well, so far it's taken me almost half an hour just to clear this field because it's so big. Or well, the entire farm, I mean, not just this field. Ooh, that frame rate really hurts on this grass. The game also might not like it because this is way out of its like natural area. You're not supposed to be able to do anything over here. Because normally this would be like Haley's house right here. What does that look like on the map? Anything? No, it also looks pretty much the same. Immersive farm. There are also some other really cool like uh, map mods too that I was going to play with. But like I said, I really want to leave this one as bare bones as possible. That way it doesn't crash on me. It's probably gonna anyway, like once I go to bed at night, it'll just crash and die. But I've got it all figured out. Do you make your YouTube videos from stream clips? Uh, I don't, but I have an editor that does. Normally my videos come out of like just me recording. I don't ever do anything with my own streams. I just stream, then they upload by themselves and uh, people uh, edit this streams for me so there'll probably be a video out covering uh some of this stuff uh tomorrow the next day monday something like that pretty tight schedule hoes are for needers i might actually start using a hoe because that bombing frame rate thing's really bugging me let's hoe it up just to change it up anyway ho I'm surprised there's not a picture of pam there Okay, 
This should go fairly quick anyway because I'm moving fast. I have infinite energy and the iridium hoe. The finest of all the hoes. The next stream I want to do for Stardew Valley, I want to do like Skull Cavern level 3000 or something. I figured that wouldn't be a good depth because that would take me long enough that it's going to be like a huge stream and deep enough that it's going to be something of like an achievement I guess. I think it would take me 9 or 10 hours, which is a lot of dropping bombs on rocks. Like a lot. Get that one there. I also meant to start this stream way earlier in the day, but I was having so many difficulties getting this going that it didn't happen. Uh, do I have any idea why the stream highlight the other was only the basically the beginning of the last stream? Uh, yeah, that's because we ended up breaking that down into a few parts because it was such a long stream and so much uh, footage, uh, clips. So the, the second part of that is going to be more of the like highlights along the way sort of thing. So that will be up probably tomorrow. And it's always good to show like whenever I start a game or start anything, it's good to show some like continuous gameplay at the beginning anyway. Just to kind of see what the game's like, get the gameplay. If you clip it too much at the beginning, people don't really, they get lost really quick. But part two is more the rest of the stream, all the highlights and all the other stupid stuff I was doing, running around exploring everything. Imodium Ho. It's my Imodium Ho. Hello, Grizzlo. Welcome. I guess while I'm hoeing, I could probably answer some of the chat going on over there. I don't really need to watch that closely. I'll just do that a lot more, but that's your problem. Am I planning to visit Europe? Like, in my lifetime? I am. I don't have any, like, set plans, but I'll get there eventually. One day. My world tour. Like I said, I'll turn into a vlog and just, like, travel the world and make fun of people all around the world. I'll be like Stardew World. That'd be kind of fun. Well, it'd be a lot of fun, but no one would want to watch it. Otherwise, it'd be all over that. Uh, the Stardew modding scene is pretty basic. If you could have any mod made, what would it be? Uh, I don't know, actually. I was talking to uh, someone on my Discord about that. I meant to uh, talk to them again before now. I'll talk to them later about making a mod or working with them on mods or something like that. So, I don't know. I'll put something in the works myself eventually to do it. Probably just more interactions with the NPC or just like expanding on the game more. Kind of an interesting idea. It's something I might look at doing myself. Just something of like a expansion or something to the game. Just add to it. It's such a good game. I just need more of it, that's all. I'm impatient waiting for the next update. Which is why I'm currently doing this hoeing a giant field. Do I play League of Legends? Nope, I do not. The only games I really play are the ones you see me playing. Stardew Valley, obviously. Ones like Yonder and uh, My Time at Porsche, things like that. And then the only one that I play that you don't really see is the Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. That's a good one. I'm at just over 100 hours on that. This is really bad hoe work, by the way. Will you ever go to AUS? I'm assuming that's Australia? Or are you talking Austria? Uh, I'm honestly not sure I could tell the difference with three letters. Uh, but I would like to go to both, honestly. Australia is something I do really want to see. Australia would be really cool. I had some friends. I've actually had quite a few friends that have gone there for extended periods of, periods of time, either to work or just go, you know, do the Australian stuff. Have I been to Vancouver Island? I have been to Vancouver Island. Several times. Not in a little while. Have I played Starbound? I have played Starbound. Not for quite a while, though. PUBG mating call. PUBG, PUBG. 
Thank you, Panic. Thank you, Panic. Please start saving your money, though. You're gonna go broke watching me hoe a field. Australia. Do I speak Pig Latin? Uh, doesn't everyone, technically? You just gotta rearrange the words. I, I guess I can, I just don't. Why don't you stream Battlegrounds? I know, that's what I want to stream. That'll be probably be a Twitch thing. Bomb the rest. Okay, I'll start bombing again. Hoe is too slow. I have a slow hoe. <clears throat> How many hours do I have in Stardew Valley? Uh, around 500, I think. Not as many as most people think. I remember people used to try and guesstimate how many hours I had. They're like, oh, it's definitely like 2,000. It's like, no, is it 400 at the time? It's just hard to tell because I make videos on it, so it seems like I put a lot of like time into doing all this stuff, but a lot more of the times like in the setup for it or the editing and that kind of stuff. Bomb, 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 bomb. Uh, now that I have a chance to ask, do you always talk like that? If so, do people meet you think you being super sassy? Uh, yeah, generally I'm a pretty big, like, smart ass, and I like to make fun of people when they say stupid things, so. Yeah, I try my best. Normally if I think someone's stupid, they're gonna know about it. I find it humorous though, that's why I do it. Makes me laugh. Laughing at their misfortune. Too fast for that hoe. Coming up on 40 minutes and I'm still hoeing. Hoe bombing. So leggy when I do that, that drives me nuts. But yeah, for uh, the player knowns Battlegrounds, I do want to start streaming it. That'll probably be on Twitch, might be on here, might be dual stream. I haven't decided yet. One day I'll just start streaming while I'm playing anyway. I was really close to doing it last night, but I was feeling so crappy yesterday that I didn't. It would have been good though, because we won and we were doing good and stuff. It was fun. water break in case you're wondering where I went taking a drink of cold water I need it for my poor voice it goes out if I don't am I evil uh yes just got here what's happening well the grass is trying to take over the town so I'm killing it all before it has a chance <clears throat> it's a little known fact in Stardew Valley, if you let the grass get too big, it takes over everything and it's game over. It it uh, ruins your save file. You gotta give it all the grass as soon as possible. I like some more mods just for the NPC interaction. Some of those are really good. Like the extra marriage mods were good. And like I, I do want to look at more of the narratives, like the Marnie and... Uh, uh, who else? Marnie narrative overhaul, the dwarf, Krobus. There was a few others too. I have them written down on my handy notepad. Okay, once I'm done hoeing this, I'm gonna go back and start seeding the other part of my field because I'm getting really sick of this side. In fact, I really hate this side right now. Like a lot. Do I have any pets? I do not. Are you the B-movie script? Yes. Yeah, no pets. I could ask that a lot. No pets. I do like animals. I would have pets, but generally I'm just way too busy to like properly take care of one and like give it the time it needs. That's why I don't have one. It just wouldn't be fair to the pet. Plus, I can barely take care of myself, so I don't even want to bother, you know, mistreating a pet. Have you guys all heard about the guinea pig, guinea pig controversy that's all over Stardew Valley right now? It's the talk of the town. If not, look it up. Because of someone in town's mistreatment of the guinea pigs. 
the complicated care they require and it's not receiving it. I can't wait for the multiplayer update for this. That's going to be so much fun. Like for something like this, there could be two people. One person going around like hoeing like this and the other person whatever building barns collecting watering It'd be so much easier butterfly okay so i'm gonna go to the other side of the field now and start fertilizing because i'm gonna fertilize all these because you know why not do it twice so much fun Why can't mods come to the console version of Stardew Valley? Yeah, kind of a shame that doesn't uh, doesn't happen. But yeah, that's is what it is. Whoops, I want to throw this crap away. I know I'm just gonna collect it all again, but this feels good to throw it away once in a while. Whoops, I do that a lot too. I miss the garbage can. Gotta feed Pam. Um, I want a mod that's actually just turning Pam literally literally into a garbage can. So. Uh, we need fertilizer, the quality one, and I'm actually going to need a lot of those. We're done with the bombs. Now that I'm actually collecting all these, I'm realizing how much work it's actually going to take to do this. And I'm questioning my decisions right now. Whatever. Whatever, we'll just dive into it like we always do and get it over with. These little spaces kind of annoy me too to like get all the little stupid little corners and everything. But that's okay. Good thing I have lots of patience. Feed the Pam monster. Pam the garbage can. Pam's like a Roomba but not as smart. <clears throat> get a snake if you're worried about having not enough time for a pet. Um... Yeah, I could get a pet like that, but I definitely like the more like traditional pets. Like a dog would be my first choice because dogs are just a lot of fun, and I tend to do a lot of hiking and stuff, so it'd be fun to like take it out hiking and take it like to the beach and like throw it in the water or whatever you do with dogs at the beach, bury it in the sand and stuff. That'd be my first choice, but all things in time. Gotta get some other stuff sorted out first, and then I can worry about pets. The other side of that is, like, I want to do a lot more traveling again. I generally have done a lot of traveling, but it's nice to just be able to be like, Hey, I'm going to wherever for two weeks, and then you just go. You don't have to worry about pets or what they're doing. No strings attached. Nothing to hold me back. I can just take up and go whenever I want. Easy peasy. Escapists. Throwing down that steed. Stop hating on Pam, you monster. <clears throat> uh, I think you've just given yourself away, Pam. Panic Tank is really Pam. Did you guys know that? Everyone say hi to Pam in the chat. Panic Tank is Pam. Pam Tank. It all makes sense. Pam is a tank. I was trying to decide before what the fastest way to plant things is and I think it was like this you put yourself on speed five or six and like do intervals of movement I think is fastest <clears throat> I could be wrong but I feel like it is and over here it gets annoying too because when you move left and right the camera doesn't follow you normally I just leave my cursor over my character so you gotta go up and down, a little north-south action, if you know what I mean. All the way to the top, up to Grandpa, there you go. Sorry that I'm not respecting your shrine more, but I just don't really care. You had this giant farm to work with and you did nothing. I don't even know where Grandma is, if she even exists. She sends me mail once in a while, but I'm not convinced. She really cared, she'd come visit me once in a while. That's a bush. Can't plant that. Plant my seed in the bush. This is going to take a long time. I might actually plant this in two stages. I might plant like half of it and then sleep to save my progress and then get the other half. 
might be a good idea. Because I don't want to lose this progress. It's already taken me 45 minutes just to do all this. Huh, I like how I take my clothes off as soon as I step over there. Naked? Not naked. Naked? Not naked. Naked? Seed. Okay, I think I've done this whole corner, so that's good. That was 600 so far. So only about another 10,000 to go. I can't wait. I don't know why I stream these things. I really don't. I'm even more confused as to why anyone watches this. Warp totem. Yeah, it'd be cool to make like a mod where it's kind of like random events for NPCs. Like they interact with each other doing weird random things and you could like include yourself with them. Work my way across. We'll do from this line upwards towards the house. Whoops. Too far. Going back the other way. Sowing your seed while naked. Couldn't have said it better myself. I'm already getting really tired too. I had a coffee just before I started this, but doing the whole like monotonous, repetitive seeding always makes me really tired. It was always one of the problems I had when I was making videos of the giant crops. I'd be all enthusiastic at the start of it, but by the time I was done planting it all and doing it all, I was like a zombie. I like couldn't function. So I'd like wake myself up to record the last bit of them. YouTube problems. One nice thing about Stardew Valley for sure though is that it is easy to stream. It's not like a demanding game or anything, so the quality comes through really nice. Hey, there's my first thousand. <clears throat> I'd celebrate, but I don't have anything to celebrate with. And I more just want to start crying at this point because this is going to take so long. <clears throat> For those of you that haven't been here before, go ahead and check out my channel. There's all sorts of videos, usually more entertaining than this and there. Also, Twitter, Discord, Twitch, the usual crap, all down there in the description. <clears throat> if you want to see more crap like this, join me. I need more water. <clears throat> That's a little better. You can also hold down the C button when you're seating. If your cursor is over yourself, that works too, but I like that mouse clicking action. I'd be lost without it. I also want to do another Don't Starve Together live stream because those are always fun. We get everyone playing together. I can play with people. They carry me. It's always fun. I'll do one of those eventually. I know I keep saying that. And I'm going to keep saying that, but eventually it will happen. Okay, so that's all fertilized. Uh, okay, I think that's all fertilized. I don't care if I miss a few spots. I'm not going to come over 10,000 spaces to try and find one I missed. And if you just all out run, you do miss spots, like that one. Oh, it's actually not bad, just running like that. It works, but you do miss a spot here and there. But like I said, I don't care if I miss a spot or two. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over that. And then for planting these two, I'm not gonna use any, oh, I said I was gonna use scarecrows. I forgot already, whatever. Scarecrows are irrelevant. Actually, not really, but 
because I think it's going to take me 24 days to grow all these. So that could be a lot of scare or a lot of crows eating my precious profits, but whatever. Feed the crows. You gotta keep the crows fed. They gotta man the wall. Running, running. That actually works pretty good. I'm gonna do that. I think speed five is okay. I think it's speed six where you start to skip too many spaces. Ah, oh, there's a few in there. That one, that one, and that one. Hard to see them. They need to make the fertilizer stand out a little more. I think when it's watered, it, it shows up better, but like this, not so much. Not so much at all. You have no life, just like me. I have a Stardew Valley life, that's what I got. Anyone else here in the chat from Canada? Seems like everyone, like all my viewers and subs are all like Eastern US. I don't know why there's not more from my side of things. You'd think there would be because I'm here. But I guess that's not really how YouTube works anyway. Make some shafts, DF. I should. There will be no shafts on this stream. There'll be lots of shafts on an upcoming stream though, so prepare yourself for that, mentally and physically. Who's got the music here? Imagine if it wasn't, it gets so dry without the music. And now that I've got this oh, ow, I bit my tongue. Now that I've got this playlist set up, I can have background music for any game I play if I want. Because I'm pretty sure the Stardew Valley music is free use. I need to double check that before I get carried away, but I think you can use it pretty much anywhere. But don't take my word for that. Verify first if you want to do the same. New Zealand, West Coast. West Coast, there you go. Texas. JMac, hello. JMac likes my shafts. All, all of them. Branding out of fertilizer. There we are. Almost there. Only another 8,000 to go. Can't believe how fast it's going. It's outrageous. Right now I'm really, really unhappy with myself for deciding to do this stream. I was really unhappy with this idea earlier when I was trying to get the mod figured out. That was a giant pain in the ass in itself. Here I am, planting 10,000 fertilizer and then 10,000 plants. All for what? A little bit over there, a little bit over there. And I gotta keep my eye out for, I keep like overlooking these spots. I'm not even noticing them at this point because I'm already like zoning out. Planting, planting. There we are. I think we got that part mostly taken care of. Like I said, I think I'm going to do it like half and half. I'm going to get this side of the field done and then do the other half tomorrow. That way I can save my progress and don't risk losing it ever again. DF does everything so darn fast. Thank you, Panic. You know it. You know it. Look at all that fertilizer. I'm going to go back to the left side again. Change it up a bit. That's one thing I'm always doing. you got to keep changing it up. I know it's inefficient, but if I don't, I'll go crazy. I just get so bored. Like, straight up, straight down. Just going for it. I'm not going to care about those single spaces anymore. This is going to take too long. Otherwise, if I have to chase down every individual single one. Just sit back and relax and enjoy this. The other day, one of the comments on one of my videos called me the Bob Ross of Stardew Valley. I really like that. I should change my name to that. My channel name. Stardew Valley with Bob Ross. 
Might even start doing face cam at that point though when they do the whole Bob Ross look. That'd probably be a big hit. For all the wrong reasons. I think you're bored already. I am bored already. Alberta. Haven't been to Alberta in a while. I think it was 2013 or 2014 was the last time I was there. That side of the Rockies. Yeah, Cloudcatcher, yeah, I was... I haven't played with that enough yet to really know the extent of the game, but so far I feel like it there needs to be more, like more progression. Because <clears throat> as it is, there's no skills to progress or anything. You just wander around and find everything and that's it. Happy Seeds. Super happy seeds. Why don't I speed up the video? What do you mean? I can't speed up the video. I'd have to speed up life itself and I don't know how to do that. And I wouldn't want to on top of that. If you're speeding up life, you're just wasting it. And if you want to speed it up, you're not living it very wisely. Australia... J Mac help. Yeah, this is where I need like multiplayer to be like, hey, okay, you guys see this, I'm gonna go like divorce the town. Let me know when you're done. We'll get there eventually, don't you worry. Like I was saying, I need like a tractor or something. Or like hired help to do all this for you. And not hired help where you have to sit there and watch them all day, or like play through a day, they should just do it automatically and you don't have to do anything. The next update's got to be soon, though. Gotta be. It's been too long. I hope it's multiplayer and a bunch of stuff. You should do a shadow for my finger because I managed to break off a third of it, which is why I can stay away because it stings. You broke off a third of your finger? That sounds inconvenient. I bet that hurt. Fingers are sensitive. A lot of nerve endings. Always hurts. I need tea. I need coffee. Someone bring me some more coffee. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hoe that. Almost there, don't worry guys, almost there. From Ukraine, hello Ukraine. That's pretty much the other side of the world for me. Which means that it's probably early in the morning for you. Quite early in the morning. But maybe my geography is a little bit off. Two more dollars from Panic for a coffee, sissy. Thank you. Thank you again. I wanted the coffee though, not the, not the money. But thank you. Keep going, keep going. What do we got? Nothing? Okay. Nah, uh, good enough. Oh my god, look at all this. What have I done? I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. I think I'm gonna fertilize this half of the field and not fertilize the other half because I just I really don't want to do this all. I really don't. You know what? I'm not going to fertilize all this. I'm just going to plant it. I don't want to fertilize all this and then plant it. I just don't want to do it. Good enough. That bit's fertilized. I'll accept that. No, thank you. We'll just get to sow in some seed. Enough of the fertilizer. Playtime's over. Get down to business. So, for this, we need ancient seeds. 
ancient. Uh, yep, they're there. So we're still going to have to plant more than all these. So we're going to go back to the top left and start planting for now. We're going to do this. Starting right up there. Sure, why not? There we go. Almost done. Almost done. At least these are easier to see. It's a little more like motivating to really see the progress when I can see all the seeds down. Then I feel like I'm getting somewhere. One thing I should have done that I normally do for live streams that I didn't do this time is have like an energy drink, have a monster or something right here beside me. Because I'd be starting to drink it right about now. That would kind of keep me going throughout the way. I don't have one right now. That's okay, I'll persevere. Back to the winter music. The winter music is so relaxing. I like the summer music the best though. It's more like upbeat. Helps me keep going. This music always makes me feel tired too. And this reminds me of winter. Like short, dark, snowy, cold. Starting to lose track of where all the seeds are. It's hard to see behind the trees. I like how this field though like is broken up like that. There's like the stone path and the trees over here. That way you have to work around them. You can't just clear it out into one big blank field. That's a nice touch. It looks better. Because that's totally something I do. I just like raise the whole field into dirt. And then that would be all my planting zone. It wouldn't look very good, but it would be worth a lot of money. Right, so this is all the north-south. That's all. Straight up, straight down. I'm going to go up here. Straight up, straight down, just again and again and again till I finish it or something else happens. Which map is this? This is the immersive farm. Uh, like I said, I don't have the description, the mod in the description, I forgot. Uh, but someone can link it if you like. Or you can find it on this video once it's uploaded. I'll do all the details for it, that way everyone can find it because it's huge. You can do everything you want on this field and then some. One there. I think I got it all. Also, Harvest Moon is going to be coming out. I heard in January, I think, is when it's slated for release. So that should be fun. Hopefully, it's just as good as the old ones. That would be a lot of fun. I could have a lot of fun with that game. Other than that, I'm not really sure what's coming out that's similar. Graveyard Keeper is supposed to be coming out in summer. Not quite sure what to expect for that. I'm really excited for it. It looks cool. But hard to say what it's actually going to be at release. Hopefully it's got similar depth and progression to this because I'll have a lot of fun with that. We can make so many videos with stuff like that. Go that way. Gotta power through it. Wait, a new Harvest Moon? Yeah, it's coming out, like I said, I think January, I think. Eight in the Philippines. Hi, hello Philippines. Good to see you can make it. Always a pleasure. Even harvesting these is going to be a nightmare. There's so many of them. It's going to take forever. 
I've already been at it for an hour. Hour and five minutes. Imagine that. Yeah, that Graveyard Keeper game, it does look like a lot of fun. I'm really excited for it. I just really hope there's like the, the proper depth to it and everything that we can continually play it. Like I said, I'm still playing Stardew Valley and it's been coming up in a year and a half before you know it. And that's a game basically about doing this. And meeting the townsfolk. All sorts of stuff. Almost got this corner of things done. Still gonna be a little while though. Just gotta keep running around seating. Even multiplayer, even with four people, this would take a long time. So here I am doing with one. So smart. I'm also using the CJB Cheats mod, uh, that's the cheat menu seen here, which has all this kind of fun stuff. That's a real easy, quick, fun download. And then the item spawner, which is this one, which spawns you any item you could ever want. Even things that don't exist in the game normally, like Haley's whatever, iron. Also halibut, for those of you that are fans of halibut. Going up, going down. I kind of wish I did have like different music right now, but everything's so copyrighted that I can't really do much other music. I can of course use Stardew Valley music in Stardew Valley games. Though in hindsight I should have included some of the music in some like festivals and like characters theme songs and stuff. That would have made it a little more interesting because I'm not as familiar with those songs. Give me something a little bit different to listen to because I've heard all these songs quite a few times. This song really reminds me of some of the Super Nintendo songs from the Super Nintendo RPGs way back when. Those are always a good time. I loved those games. The music was always great. So are we all having fun yet? Watching me lay down seeds endlessly? Hopefully someone is because I'm not. The problem with seeding too is I can't really watch a chat otherwise I start missing the seeds and then I get annoyed. Just keep going. We got this. Not too close, so it will get sucked into the next, to the bus stop. And Pam will eat me. Not allowed over there. Pam devours anything that gets too close. Anything over here? No, 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 yeah, no. Ooh, there's the first thousand, just like that. It's that easy. I'm having the best time. I'm glad someone is. Do, 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 do. Someone give me an, a video idea for tomorrow. I don't have any ideas of what I want to do for tomorrow's video. I don't have a huge amount of time, but... Someone give me one, then I don't have to think of one. Because I feel like after I'm done this, I'm just going to want to go to bed. And be like, I hate everything. And dream of planting seeds for the rest of my life. I don't even know how I'm planting these anymore. I'm already losing my mind. Get back a inefficiency. I thought about using a seed bag mod too, but I think for one this big it's easier to just run with them. Especially if I can increase my speed. Go that way. 
go that way, that way. Oh, got a stretch already. Uh, immersive map. You missed one. Yeah, I'm gonna miss a few throughout the way, but that's okay. I'm not like I said. I'm not gonna chase down one out of the ten thousand. I'm gonna need. Gonna lose a few to the crows anyway. Five dollars. Thank you very much. Um, atheistic Jew. Atheistic Jew. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Interesting name, by the way. Thank you for your donation. Donations are always appreciated, but don't feel obligated. Like I said many times before, I don't do YouTube for a living, so I don't rely on this stuff to like eat and stuff. I just steal the food from children. They're the easiest. There's the mod again. Ariana Lee's throwing it up there in the chat. If you want to find it, take a look there. <clears throat> meant to put it in the description, but I was too busy uh, shamelessly promoting my own crap that I forgot to do the one that actually matters. My headphones are hurting my head today, too. Falling apart fast. There we are. That's a little better. Keep going. <clears throat> I've only lost about 80 viewers so far since I started seeding, so that's pretty good. Apparently you guys like watching this crap. S thick? A thick? I, yeah, sorry, I couldn't really, uh... I couldn't really read that as it was going by. It was going fast and I was focused on numerous things. Love your bids. I'm subbed. Thank you. I'm honored. <clears throat> Oh, okay. That was a helpful tip in the uh, comments. You don't need to have your cursor over your character. You just need to have it clicked or held down like that. Thank you for that. He just likes clicking. I do like clicking a lot. Feels feels right, you know. Yeah, that actually works pretty good. Thank you for uh, sorry whoever that was that said that. I wasn't I wasn't listening. gonna be a while yet. Settle in everyone. It's been almost an hour and 15. I really wish I could avoid the gaps in the seating like that. That's so annoying. Because the fertilizer I didn't care if I missed one but with the seeds I do kind of care. I don't want to lose too many of those. And I give up on the fertilizing anyway because well forget that that's way too much way too much that was a pretty good run didn't miss any there wonder why sometimes you can like split the middle like and get both sides down but it's kind of hard to do I give up trying I used to try and do it more but meh too lazy now too much going on way too much plant 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 go 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 should have done like a time trial for this that actually would have made it more interesting see how fast I could do it wouldn't have been very good but it would have held my interest a little better made it less boring Just keep running around, planting my seed everywhere I can. I suppose it's not really any different from how I normally play. This is just a more boring version of it all. I was also looking at some Sims mods. There's some kind of cool Sims mods out there. There's one where you can just murder people, so that's kind of interesting. I'm going to play with that. I've been meaning to get back to the Sims, I just haven't yet. take five have a stretch and get your monster uh it would take me a lot more than five minutes to get a monster so 
I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna power through. I'll be alright. Like I said, I'm still like sick. I'm still feeling crappy today anyway, so I don't think a monster's gonna help me. I'm just gonna sit here and suffer and plant my seed. I should be grateful I'm even able to plant my seed. It's an honor, really. I've got my seed and my music. What more could I want? We'll get this side over here. Actually making pretty good progress now. I think it's going to be a lot faster too once I get into the other field because it's so open that I can just do it all. No problem. These corners and tight little areas are take up time because I got to maneuver so much. Uh, right there. Good enough. I think that's all of them. So that area is done. That area is done. Nothing down there. That's a dock. Look at all these seeds already. Already this would have been like half of an, an entire field. But it's not in this case. There's a lot more to do. Gotta keep it even. Going up and going down. You should do a drunk live stream. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to. I'm considering that. I'm just trying to think about how to make it work. Someone suggested like drinks by donation. Like someone donates money and I have to drink at that point or something like that. Which is a really good and really bad idea at the same time. But I might do it for my Skull Cavern run. If I do like Floor 3000 Skull Cavern like drinking along the way or something. Just to keep it fresh and interesting. I could have like a cooler right beside me. That way I can just do what I need to do as I go. Don't have to get up and move. I'll do that eventually. I want to. I just gotta figure out the logistics of it and see if I'm even allowed to. I don't know what YouTube makes of that. They're probably okay with it but I, I don't want to, you know, annoy YouTube. So I gotta look into it first anyway. I operate out of an abundance of caution. Love all your videos and all of your wives and husbands. Thank you. Another two dollars. Awesome. Thank you again. Yeah, there needs to be more marriage candidates too. I want to be able to marry everyone. Oh, I forgot that area, didn't I? I did. Good thing I'm so perceptive and miss nothing ever. Yeah, we'll do this little patch. Ooh, ran out of a stack. Nice. I think this area is supposed to fit nicely with like a barn. I think the barn fits right here. The other barn fits right there. And then this is like the area for them. It's like a natural barrier. I think is the point. I think that's what this whole farm is supposed to be. It's like laid out with proper dimensions for the sprinklers and everything. Could do a drunk stream on Twitch. Yeah, that's true. We'll consider that. I'll give it some more thought. Maybe next week and I'll put something together. No promises, but I will look into it. I do want to do it. I get to decide too, like what my overall direction with this channel is going to be moving forward. I've been giving a lot of thought lately and I don't really know yet what I want to do with this. I need to like sit down and like write out the goals or something on a piece of paper and be like, what's the best way to do this? What do I want to do? Is this even feasible? Do I really want to continue to marry the world of Stardew Valley? The answer is yes, I do. Up, down, up, down, all around. Okay, I think that area is done. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. What else we got? Let's take a little walk. I'm going to just move around for a second, talk like this while I stretch out a little bit because I'm already getting really stiff and like annoyed. I still gotta do that area up there. I gotta do this area. That's not too bad actually. Does it sound like I'm far away from the microphone over here? I bet it does. Though I'm not really sure. I need a better microphone anyway. This one. Not good. Not good at all. 
Wouldn't that be funny if I got a new microphone and my voice was completely different? No one didn't know what to think. Going up, going down. Oh, so repetitive. 555 people watching make a wish. I wish I had never thought to do this stupid idea. How do I get ancient seeds quickly, DF? I go like this. Press I and select them down here, right there. Uh, if you're asking how to really do it, uh, get lucky and find one, I guess, is, is probably the fastest way. <clears throat> uh, other than that, I suggest making a seed maker as soon as possible and just running whatever seeds through it. Eventually, it'll give you an ancient one. Plant that one until it's uh, mature and then just keep running them through the seed maker until you have a whole bunch. That's the way I used to do it. And it took forever, but that I literally did that for all my early videos. It took forever. If I had had all the mods and like item spawners and stuff, I would have been able to make so many more videos in the early days. Because some of those videos seriously took me like 30 hours to make, and it was like two minutes of content. It was just so much grinding. Then there's ones that you can't really cheat, like the mushroom farm. The infamous stupid mushroom farm, mushroom tree farm, whatever it was. It took forever and then it didn't didn't even work anyway. Which kind of makes for a, a decent video because people like that when you do something really stupid like put in all that effort and it just doesn't work. But it's not really a lot of fun for me, I won't lie. So many hours because even like grinding through years I think every year takes 12 or 14 minutes, 13 minutes, something like that. So you got to realize how long that is. So to sleep through 100 years, like I'm on year 105 or something in Motherfowl. I can't remember we said that takes 18 hours or something just of sleeping. So if you want to grind through to year 100, you're going to have to sit there for 18 hours and sleep. That means get up, run back and forth, go back to bed. Get up, run back and forth, go back to bed. Do that for 18 hours. Not a lot of fun. I don't know why I'm even planting in here. I'm never going to see these, but... Got to be thorough. Just going to run around in circles here. Make sure I'm not missing any. Okay, got a few more in there. Okay, now I'm going to go down to the lower stretches. When am I going to play the new DLC of Little Nightmares? I don't think I am. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get back to that. I doubt it. Again, that might be like an impulse thing where one day I might be like, oh, I want to play it, so I'll stream it for you guys or something. But as of now, I got no plans to continue it. Really cool game, really fun game, but meh. I do want to stick more to like this style game. This is where most of my viewers are anyway, and I do like this kind of game. I'd like to keep making videos on games like this. There's a new one that came out. I can't remember what it's called castle something it came out yesterday it looks kind of like sim city but you're like building a castle like medieval town instead it looks kind of fun i almost bought it i might try that at some point i'm gonna need more games to play anyway i installed the mod that gives you infinite health and infinite everything with the snappy mod is needed and it still doesn't work um well that's a little vague. I need I need more details to help you out there. Do you have Smappy already? Did you install it into the Smappy Mods folder? Did you start the game under Stardew Mods and not Stardew Valley? There's many possibilities there. Uh, if you wanted a really good idea of how to install mods, uh, that Denver guy actually has a really good video on how to install mods. That's actually what I started using when I first started doing it. Go look at his video. It's like how to install Snappy and mods. That Denver guy, if you want to know, it's really easy. Watch his video. He breaks it down step by step. Drunk stream Lisa on Twitch. Actually, I do want to play Lisa. Ow. I do want to play Lisa. That's the second time I bit my tongue in the last hour and a half. There's something wrong with me. Uh, yeah, I did buy Lisa. I might stream it at some point. That would be kind of fun. Because I, I understand like, what the game is and kind of the overall like hilarity of it, but... I've never actually played it, so. That might be kind of fun, actually. I might I might write that one down. 
at the same time, I'm kind of hesitant to stream on Twitch because I like YouTube so much. Like, YouTube's awesome. Everything it does that I don't want to, like... I almost just want to go, like, all in on YouTube, if you know what I mean. Instead of, like, diversifying, my, diversifying myself and, like, watering myself down a little bit by multitasking, I'd almost just, just as soon rather stay all on YouTube and grow bigger here, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to articulate to you folks. Who probably aren't listening anyway, because you wouldn't brain dead like me watching all the seeds. Missed one. Okay, I deserve a water break after that. <clears throat> this is going to be a good one. <clears throat> there we are. Now, to do this field, <clears throat> this one's going to be more repetitive, but it's going to go fairly quick. There's a whole lot of up and down, if you know what I mean. This field's so big, too. Look at the size of it. It's ginormous. It's a humonganoid. <clears throat> dual stream? Yeah, I could dual stream, too. That's probably the best idea, really, to dual stream. Just get the chat on screen or something to focus in one. Because, let's be honest, I have enough trouble focusing on one stream at a time. Like, one stream chat. <clears throat> doing two. Not going to be very good for me. <clears throat> and I don't like to dilute myself. I try and do like everything <clears throat> to actually good quality, believe it or not. So trying to answer two chats at once would be tough. But that depends on a lot of things again. How many viewers are there? How fast the chat's going? Sometimes the chat's really fast. Sometimes it's really slow. Keep going, keep going. They should have an option for <laughs> like this for Stardew Valley 2 where you can just like buy to unlock more land. Even if it's just like a generic like square field like this for like 10 million gold or something you get like another parcel so you have to save up and can like buy endless parcels. Do I have multiple monitors? I do. I have two monitors which is why I can read the chat right now because I just have Stardew Valley full screen right here and then I have my chat over there and my other stuff, my music and my streaming program and stuff. You're answering us? I'm trying. I'm not doing a very good job of it. Yeah, I can combine the chats into one too and feed them to myself on screen, so that might work. <clears throat> so many things to try. <clears throat> I'll have a better idea after this week of what I want to do. <clears throat> I gotta chew some gum. Hold on. I'm gonna sit still for a sec. I've been chewing a lot of gum lately. <clears throat> I wanted to get a high, fancy llama gaming. Hi. <clears throat> That's better. Throat's mm, feeling crappy today. I gotta get over being sick. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, my voice is not going for it today. Might actually be allergies too at the same time. I do have some allergies. They're not usually super bad this time of year, but they can be. Kind of a strange year weather-wise. What do I use to stream? Uh, I use OBS. OBS. <coughs> OBS to stream works out really good. Since I started using it, I've had zero problems. Because the program I was using before was constant problems. What's the difference, you might ask? Well, OBS is free, and the crappy one is not. So if you ever want to start streaming or doing stuff, get OBS, at least to start. It's reliable and it works. Like, it just simply works. That's what matters. Some of them have all these, like, outrageous features that are like, oh, that's cool. You're probably not ever going to use them. And if you do, just wait till you're ready to use them. Don't jump into complicated things right away. Just keep it simple to start. That's what I did. My people asking me the other day, like, oh, like, what, like, I want to start streaming or, like, recording. What do I need to edit and stuff? I'm like, anything. I used Windy's Windows Movie Maker for a long time. I still could. <clears throat> I produce basically the same videos with it. It's all about how you use this stuff, not necessarily what it is. I might keep everything simple, too. I don't really edit mine. I just cut the clips. Just cut the clips, so I cut out the boring crap and leave you guys the interesting stuff to the best of my ability. Which doesn't leave you with much, because I'm not a very interesting type player. 
I just come up with some stupid ideas. Which leads me to other stupid ideas. Like the My Time in uh, Porsche thing, where I found out you can use a sword in your sparring if you hold a chicken or a duck at the same time. That's just what my stupid things lead me to, just little quirks like that that people might not find otherwise. And I like stuff like that. Wield the duck and you can beat anyone in sparring. Then you make lots of money. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, actually we're making really good progress with this field. I can't wait. Oh, but wait, I forgot the sprinklers. How are these going to get watered? Please pay, play Terraria. I don't think I'm going to get started in Terraria. That market's already super saturated and I... I like it, but I I don't know. I can't really play it or stream it. The multiplayer streams have been pretty fun, but aside from that, I don't know. Like I said, I really just need a new game or two that are just like this that I can dive into again and like tear apart like I did with this game. Find out all kinds of stupid little ideas. That's what I'm hoping for with like my time at Porsche and Yonder to some degree and like Graveyard Keeper, stuff like that are the games that I'm looking forward to. Hello Neighbors also coming out in its uh, full version in August, I think August 29th, so that should be good. I do want to get into that once it's in its full version. Then I'm not sure what else. I'm sure there'll be some other games that I've never heard of that are going to show up. I might get into might get into Ark. I've been watching more Ark lately and I, I've played it a little bit. I do like Ark. So I might get like right into that and be like a big time Ark type player. Not necessarily big time, but like, you know what I mean? Enthusiastic, like really involved in it. Because I know I don't know much about it. There's dinosaurs and snakes, they kill you. You build stuff. Upgrade your player, upgrade your skills, craft stuff. The usual. I don't think any of that up there is actually hoed now that I look at it. I think it's trying to trick me. Let's go ahead and hoe all this up to good stuff. There we are. Mm, good enough. That's most of it if not all of it don't care about up there anyway if i can't see it i don't care how about that how's that for logic i think this might work out best if i do one row move over two and run up here and then i get all the spaces i miss when i run down the middle arc is a very good game yeah arc is a good game i do like it I'll get into it. Maybe. Maybe not. Depends on what other games come my way. Like I said, I'm not really sure which direction I want to go with this channel right now. I'll know more after this week. Then I'll have more of a focused direction. And hopefully that leads to more and better uh, content for you guys. Where are we? We're not in Kansas anymore. I'm going down here. I like Ark, but I don't have the attention to play it long enough to get the cool tax. Yeah, that's always been my problem. Like, I start playing, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. I can't wait to get this stuff. And then I get sidetracked and sidetracked on my stupid ideas. And then I kind of lose interest for a while. I, like, burn myself out due to stupidity. But I'll play again. What am I planting? Seeds. Lots and lots of seeds. Love this so relaxing. Yeah, it is relaxing. I'll give you that. Especially with the music. And even when I'm playing like this, I can lean back in my chair and make it more comfortable. Just wish my mic was set up better. That way I could have it follow me.
I should just make a bot that does this. The bot can see and I can just talk. I can just kick back, kick back and talk and be like, yeah, that's totally me playing. Social security number? I'll give that to you guys. Don't worry. I hand that out to everyone on stream. I'll give you everything you want. Social security, phone number, driver's license number. My address? You guys can just be me for a while if you want. That'd be fun. See what happens to my life when I let complete strangers take it over. Another one over there. Yeah, I like planting this wide open field a lot better. I know earlier I said I like the look of the other one better, and I do, where it's like broken up with other stuff, but it's so much easier to plant a lot quicker. We got this. And I do want to do the face cam thing eventually. I know people ask me about that quite a bit, and I will do it eventually. It's not going to be like anytime really soon. Because I knew you guys are going to ask that again. It won't be anytime like really soon, but it will happen. Unless I decide to stop doing this altogether or something. So we'll see. Sup, buddy? Canadian Bacon. Hello, Trisha Monster. Good to see you. Welcome. I was wondering when you were going to make it here to see me. Thank you again. Hope you enjoy this seating. Been seeding for a long time. I think it's more exciting with every seed I plant. How am I going to water? Well, don't you worry about that. I've got many ways I can water. Someone bring me a gin and tonic. That would be perfect. With ice. Maybe a slice of lime in there. Or lemon, even. Lemon's actually not too bad with it either. Just a thin one, though. Actually, you know what? That might be how I spend the rest of the night after this. Maybe this will turn into a drunk stream. This stupid idea is driving me to drink. How about that? How about that? If I press 2 on my keyboard, seeds will grow. Well, you're half right. I don't press 2, I press O to make that happen. And I'm not going to do it that way this time. I'm going to sleep through spring to let these grow naturally. Because I don't want to run around these one more time. I could be doing it as I go, yes, but I'm not going to. We're going to let them grow. Don't you worry, there's always a method to my badness. When saying that, that doesn't mean the method isn't flawed. But... Like always, I don't know until I try. Usually trying things, my ideas don't work or they half work. But I learn something from that and I come up with new ideas. I just want to take care of this little bit of space. I like getting these odd areas out of the way right away. All I have is Grey Goose and Juice. That would be just fine. What kind of juice are we talking about? Gin and Tonic Ice Cream from yesterday? That sounds interesting. Don't know if I'd like that in ice cream. I do have some Grey Goose in the freezer, I think. Nice and cold. That would be good right now. I don't have anything to drink with it, though, is the problem. Pear cider? That wouldn't be too bad. I'm not a big fan of ciders. Should have been growing as you moved. Yeah, I know. I didn't want it though. I want to like wait, have a little build up while I sleep. Wow, someone in the chat needs attention. Parents didn't love you enough, huh? That's too bad. Just keep planting. Oh, am I out? Okay, gotta plant a few more. That means I'm getting close. That means I've planted... What have I planted? 8,000 seeds, give or take? 
I think. I wasn't really keeping a very close count on that, so... This should be enough to finish it. Cranberry, orange, and fruit. Just do a few straight, straight shots. Perk you up. Yeah, there you go. That'll do it. <clears throat> that reminds me of my last trip to Vegas. That's pretty much what we had. A big bottle of vodka, and then they brought us all the juices, and you could just mix it as you wanted. It was perfect. A lot of vodka. Want to grab a cold one with the boys? The mod's telling you what to drink. The mods are there to moderate my life. Not just YouTube. My life. Oops, I went the wrong way. It's supposed to be that way. Oh, I really screwed this one up. I guess they're paying attention again. I was watching the chat. Didn't even notice I did that. It's funny. Almost there though, we're almost there. Triple vodka, triple second lime is best drink. Isn't that really close to, I can't think of what the name for that is. But there's one who was like vodka, triple sec, orange, and something that was really good. I can't remember what it's called though. I can't think of what it's called. How many seeds have I done now? I think that was about 8,000. Might need a little more. I'm not sure. I'm going to count it when I'm high risk. I always do it that way. They moderate your drinking. Not very well. They're encouraging me to drink more. Well, more is in the fact that I haven't started drinking. And I don't know if I'm going to. I kind of want to tonight. I'll probably do that once I've done this. Go see if I can find the elusive tonic water. I don't know why it's so hard to find suddenly. Last time I went to look, went to four different places. The last one had the last little bit of tonic water. I don't know why it was so hard to find. I guess no one likes gin and tonic these days. What do I do for a living? I plant seeds. I play Stardew Valley for a living. That's what I do. Orange Crush? Uh, no, I can't think of what the name is. I can actually, like, I know there's a name for what I'm thinking of. I just really can't think of it right now, and that's really going to bother me. It'll come to me eventually, probably when I'm way off stream, like in the middle of the night, I'm going to wake up with a start and a cold sweat and be like, that was it. That's what it is. And then I'll forget again. I'll have to write it down or, like, tattoo it on my arm. Drink the alcohol, the F, all of it. I'm certainly gonna try. It is the weekend after all. Uh, Kyler Wimbush, I do have a Discord. It's in the description of literally all my videos. Thank you for your donation. Did I read that right? You should have a Discord. Kyler Wimbush, yes. Thank you for your donation. Yeah, I have a Discord. Get in there, my man. It's waiting for you. Or my lady. I suppose that's kind of an ambiguous name. Don't want to assume, do I? That always gets me in trouble. But yeah, I have a Discord. Jump in there. It's a lot of fun. I'm in there quite a bit. A bunch of good people in there. Always laughing. Posting pictures, ideas, videos, crap. I ban people. It's a lot of fun. And Discord's always what I use too. Like when I'm playing multiplayer with people. Online, we use the Discord's what we use for the voice chat. It works really easy. It's, it works the best. Like when I play PUBG and we win every single game we ever play. That's what it is all the way. Just a few more seeds. Okay, I think I got mostly that area. Good enough anyway. I'm not going to bother to get carried away. I'm going down.
Just tattoo your favorite alcoholic beverage on your arm, my dude. Should cosplay Shane, get, <laughs> get drunk and pass out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Impersonate Shane. Laugh for us? What do you think I am? A normal person? I don't laugh ever. Ever. Actually, I usually, usually laugh a lot when you're playing uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds because all the stupid things we do. Well, mostly me, but everyone has their moments. Blood Orange Cosmo. That's what it is. A Cosmo. That's the drink I'm thinking of. Cosmo. That's right. Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. That was really going to start to annoy me. That's a hard one for people to make, right? Like, I don't, I don't drink that one, but I knew some people that did, and they would always get them made wrong. I suppose they were probably drinking the wrong drinks. If they were always made wrong, they should probably just drink the actual drink. But always seem to be issues with that. They'd always make them wrong. Or paralyzers. Paralyzers are good too. When made correctly. But everyone seems to have a different idea of how to make those. Buy me gin? Uh, no. I'm out of money. Though it's probably super cheap where you live. Everything's so expensive here. I gotta move. I'm gonna move somewhere cheaper. I'm gonna take my YouTube and move on. Almost there. I'm actually feeling better as this goes on for some reason. At first I felt so crappy when I first started doing this. I'm feeling better and better as I go. Probably because I'm thinking about drinking. It's inspiring me. Which is a really bad sign. But it makes me feel better, so hey. Let crutches be crutches, am I right? The Dream Daddy game by Graeme Graham Gumps? Game Grumps? Uh, yeah. I looked at that yesterday. Actually, I, I do... I might actually pay that. That looks ridiculous, so... Right up my alley. Not sure I understand it, though. I gotta watch a video on it first to see what it's actually like before I commit to... You know, doing it. Because I've done that a few times. I'm like, this game looks awesome. Then I buy it. And then it sits there for a few days. And then, uh... And then I like look into the videos on it and I'm like, oh, you know what? I won't like this at all. It doesn't work. But I'm trying to be a little more methodical these days about what games I play and like looking ahead that way I know when they're coming out and blah, blah, blah. I want to play them when they're still popular. That's why I don't want to get into a lot of older games that maybe don't have as much of a crowd. All about those views, after all. Which is why I'm playing a farming game from early last year. No Man's Sky. I was playing No Man's Sky when it came out last year, actually. I was really excited for it. Even when I first started playing it, I was like, this is so cool. And then... Yeah. It was just so repetitive. Really good idea, though. Like I really liked the idea of that game. Something like a good quint quintillion planets to uh, explore. Like, I love that. Like, cool. But then it's so repetitive. Like, 90% of the planets are barren and look the same. They're just a different color. And even the planets with stuff, you're just doing the same thing over and over again. I think I'm done, by the way. Let's just... I'm going to put myself on speed 10. I'm going to run around and look at this. Because anyone coming late needs to appreciate what I just did. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, we're good. Oh, I thought the game crashed right there. I'm surprised too. 606 people here watching and I've just... I just planted seeds. That's all I did. So, this is one single field on the side of my farm. Not even a big one. Are you done? I think I am. 
Kira, thanks for paying attention. I am done, I think. And then there's all this over here. So we'll go down here. There's a whole bunch over here to my right. There's a water trough. I like how the farm automatically waters your animals because they know no one else is going to do it. Nerdy locks, thank you very much. Buy us drinks. Mm, 608 people? I'll buy them all drinks, sure. I'll meet you at the Fairmont Vancouver, buy you all the drink tonight. Then all these over here. More seeds, more seeds, and there's even seeds down here on the island. Look at these all, this is ridiculous. I missed two on the right side. No, I'm not going back for this, I don't care. Should we play that game? Like, where's Waldo? Find the missing seed? Actually, I noticed that the other day that the one mod was, uh... The Scarecrow, uh, grid mod. I can't remember what it's called. The range for those actually helps for finding missing seeds. Because it does it all in a grid pattern and it's easy to see when you're missing one. Like right here. Anyways, I hope you guys do now appreciate the, uh, size of what I just did. Several thousand of which are fertilized too. Like, look at this. This place is huge. What does it take ancient seeds to grow? 24 days? 28? Something like that? Okay, anyways, let's sleep through this. I have to get a drink of water. One sec, hold the phone. That's better. Much better. I got the sniffles, they're getting worse as time goes on, so that leads me to think it's allergies. So, in case you're wondering how I'm going to water uh, 10,000 plants with no sprinklers, I go like this. Ooh, chair. Whoops. I don't want those. Uh, um, there. There? Okay. Watch and learn, children. Watch and learn. So, forging leveled up. Oh, from clearing all the trees. Yeah, that's right. Forging level 2, forging level 3, forging level 4. I got four forging levels just from clearing my field. It's supposed to be raining today. What happened to that? Hmm, it's supposed to be... It's supposed to be raining today. I was just going to make it rain every day. I don't know why I didn't. Anyways, next day currently set to rain. Let's try that one more time. Unless the rain doesn't have an effect on this farm layout, at which point then I might have done something really stupid. I really hope that's not the case. No, I'm really worried about that. <clears throat> I really hope... Okay, I think we're good. Wow, that had me super worried. I was like, oh, how am I going to do this now? I'm going to have to manually water this? No, thank you. So let's take a look around at the watered crap real quick. Like I said, it's easy to see when it's like this. Easier to see your missing seeds because the seeds stand out more. Better contrast. Good. All looks so good so far. Oh, there's one there. Uh, Whatever. I'll put that there. Oh look, oh, it takes up spots in my seeds. That's not fair, get out of here. Stupid thing. I like throwing stuff in the water. Anyways, let's go see what else sprouted up on my valuable crops. Making it rain, that's what I do. Making it rain. So, for those of you just joining me, look at the size of this field. It's huge. Move to Australia. I think Australia would be a cool place to be. I definitely want to spend some time there before I ever committed to moving anywhere. Once I'm done all this, I'm going to fix the minecarts too to see where those take me because I don't know what they do. Okay. Um, weather. I gotta make sure we set it to rain every day. I can also make it snow, but I don't think that waters the crops. I gotta slow my movement down too. It doesn't even register in the bed. I'm too quick in the bed. It doesn't register. Speed 3 should be fine. Go to sleep. 
So here's the process. Go to bed, wake up, water all fields every morning. I looked for that, but I didn't see it. I mean, I make it rain in a different way. Whatever, whatever you got to tell yourself, panic, whatever you got to tell yourself. Um, instant catch, no, that's fishing. Farm, water all fields, oh. I always, I always ignore that button because it sits too high. There we go. Watered. Okay, so I'll just do that then. Forget the rain. The rain causes lightning, which causes crops to die. Lightning hits the crops. It's a little bit slow saving overnight. And that kind of has me nervous. Before when I was having that problem, the game did eventually like crash. And that was out when I was on year like 40 or 50. And I had to wait for the game to get way updated before I could get back to it. Just waiting, just waiting. Raining today, so I don't need to do anything. Let me verify, though. Never assume you will come to regret it. At always. I do have max luck every day, too. So I'm not sure if that has an effect on the crows. I hope it does. Well, there's a meteor into my field, so I just lost a few more crops. It's going to be hard to even find that thing. I don't know where it's going to go. An explosion was heard during the night. That was Pam. The bar shut down early. Pam, smash. Water all fields. I'm not even going to bother to check. I'm just going to assume they're doing what they're doing. I know I said never assume, but I'm going to assume. Watering 10,000 plants in under 5 seconds. Whoops. Almost forgot to water. Not a big deal though. The ancient fruit lasts through all the seasons. So even if I miss a few days, uh, not, not going to care. The only downside that's going to be is just uh, crows getting a few more of those. My field is getting boned. My field is boned. We're all boned in one sense or another. Water. So I'm on the 11th, 12th. So I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna go right to the end of the month doing this. Then I'll go get them all. And then I get the joy of harvesting all these stupid things. And I could harvest them every week, and that would take a long time and be really annoying. That's why, like I said, I like the crops that that take forever, and you can just harvest them once for your profit. No continual watering, no continual harvesting. DF, you sound sniffly. Did I give you my cold? You must have. I am very sniffly today. I actually woke up super congested. I wasn't even going to record or anything today, but can't take a day off. Gotta do it every day. I don't know how some people do it. Well, keep in mind too, whenever you guys are watching like YouTubers, if they're putting out like two videos a day, even one video a day, that takes a lot of time. And if they're doing anything else in their lives, like working full time, like they are super busy. I feel like they don't get enough appreciation for that. Because that's what I did all last year. Like, I was so busy. It was basically like, get up super early in the morning, work all day, uh, get all the way home, try and make a YouTube video, go to bed, sleep for like four hours, get up and do it again. <clears throat> that'll burn you out real fast but it was also really inefficient with it like I said because it was some of those videos would take me 20 hours because I do them this stupid way and the content was not worth it in the end because my early vi early videos were so bad so bad but I left them up there for all you guys to enjoy everyone's leaving they don't understand that the crops on the way that's okay. We're almost there now. That's funny. Everyone waits. They watch the seeding happen. And then when the results are on the way, they take off. So silly. That's okay. There's lots of people coming in and out. Don't you worry. Chat. 
check crops? Should I? It took me, what, four tries to get my first video out? Panic? Uh, yes, that sounds about right. Oh, the dog. Yes, Panic just put out a video today playing Ark. Go, ch go check out her video, her channel. Tell her good job, Panic. Way to take it from that dodo. Watch your modern farm maps. I was wondering how to get these mods. Could help me? <clears throat> okay, well, if you got Smappy, uh... <clears throat> uh, to use the these... Uh, hold on, let me deal with this. Nope, no dog. Take him elsewhere. Yeah, the mods come with instructions. They're all pretty straightforward to do. There's a forgeable good in my way already. Another forgeable good, another forgeable good. Okay, next time I gotta turn those off. Because those forgeable goods are actually a mod in themselves. They're not supposed to pop up regularly, but I got the mod to do it. Now that I've got it, it sounds bad. <clears throat> Yeah, normally I need help with mods. I'm not really that good at doing them myself. Like today's, I would not have gotten figured out if it wasn't for the help of the Discord people. Kira in particular, because she's done it recently, so she gets it. I had to really fight my way through it. Which obviously means it was mostly a me problem, but we got, we got it figured out. After three tries. 665... What's Panic's channel called? Uh, it's called I Suck at Arc. You'll find it. Um, if you want to know, just uh, click on her name and go to visit channel. I think it's on her channel. Would that work? I don't know. I think it will. Meteorite was in bottom left. Freaking awesome garden. It is. Hey, I helped too. Lee, did you though? Did you? I think you're there for like moral support. The dog increases your evaluation by grandpa. If uh, grandpa doesn't like my farm, then grandpa, uh, too bad. I planted 10,000 plants. I bet he didn't do that in his entire lifetime. I need these to go. Panic angry. Ha, bring it, Grandma. Still not done. Ooh, what are these? I'm in summer now. I didn't know these had a color. Cool. I was also going to do a texture pack for this to make everything a little more textured. I feel like I probably forgot to water the crops there uh, for a few days. So let's be a few more days. No big deal. DF bullied Panic. Panic bullies everyone. She's the bully. Okay, about that coffee. Anyone bringing that to me or no? Ice coffee, actually? There's the explosion, so I can go mining. Why did I go mining when I've got this giant field to play with? I just typed in I suck at Ark and found it. <laughs> That's funny. Good one. Almost there. The berries are starting to show. The berries are starting to show. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I made a few more mods recently because I needed more. Because some of the streams do get pretty big, so it's hard to uh, moderate them. Because mods aren't always here full time or whatever, they'll be watching other things or doing other things. So I think we got a pretty good balance now. There's usually a few here at the very least. Almost there. Oh, it's raining today. I don't need to make it rain. I'll bring you coffee if you bring me a new computer. Fine. You're not going to like the computer though. Computer is a pretty loose term. No coffee. No one wants to bring me coffee. The whole reason I do YouTube is so people can bring me coffee. I'm doing it wrong. You can tell if it's raining without going outside. Yeah, I know. I just I like to check on things sometimes and I want to see what the crop is at progress wise. Gather your first 500 crops by hand and you should get an achievement for farming level 10. Doesn't it work if you harvest with scythe though or no? Because I thought it was just about picking them. The 
can buy me a desktop so I can play more PUBG. You got a new sub. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's one thing I don't have is the whole like... There they are. They're done. The whole like sub announcement thing on my channel. Okay, so I'm going to boost myself up to speed 10. That's one thing I do want to do though. That way when someone like donates, you can do like the text to voice and like... That actually looks really cool. Hmm. I like it. But the text to voice and like when the sub, uh, a new sub shows up on the stream, it'll be like... Welcome, new subscriber. I'll let me set that up for next weekend. JMac, if you're here, uh, maybe you could help me out with that next weekend. We'll get the streams going a little uh, more excitingly. That way there's something else to watch while we're doing this crap. There's the meteorite. You owe me for plants, by the way. You otherworldly piece of shit. Get out of my field. So, this is what 10,000 ancient fruit looks like in one single field. The blue and green are actually really nice, like, they, they go well together. It looks really cool. So we'll go this way. It doesn't work with the tools to be by hand. I get that about 1,200 by hand. Ooh, do I really want to do that? 1,200 by hand. Hmm. thinking about that how long is it going to take if I do it by hand okay won't even let you if you got harvest by scythe on where is that harvest with sickle I don't know why they don't call it a scythe it's a scythe okay I don't have that option anyway I cannot harvest by hand because I screwed it up if you have harvest with scythe activated apparently you can't do it Oh, I guess I could wait till tomorrow, though. Nah, I'm not going to bother. That's okay. I'm just going to harvest with the scythe. I've had enough messing with these things. Ooh, look at all the water, though. That's dangerous. I'm going to lose all these into the water. You know what I'm going to do? I've had this issue before. Instead of losing things into the water, get yourself a magnet ring. Get two of them. For extra, extra sucky power. There we go. Now things come toward me and not into the water. Long range harvesting. Yeah, I got this. Can you harvest with a bomb? Uh, you can, but you're not going to like the result very much. I mean, yes, you can. Do it. Harvesting with the bomb is the best way to harvest. So quick and easy. Just run as fast as you can, dropping as many bombs as you can. You'll harvest them all real quick. Uh, can you please look at this message? Yes. You should do a playthrough where you complete the community center, plus marry one person permanently. I'm not marrying anyone permanently, and community center, I thought about it. People have done that challenge. I might do that as kind of like a filler type series. Kind of like what I do at the completionist farm, just for something, you know, extra to do here and there. When i like just not feeling inspired or lazy. So I might. Not a bad idea. I do need new series. The other ones are getting dry. Completionist is in winter and I just have trouble making myself do anything in winter. Soon enough. Like I said, after this week I'll have a better idea of like what I want to do with this channel really. So there might be some changes coming or there might not be. We'll see. I'm getting so like mesmerized by all the ancient fruit that I'm like not paying attention. I'm stopping like talking. So don't worry guys, I'm still here. I'm just mesmerized by the ancient fruit. Hello, uh, Jebsism. When will you continue the completionist? Uh, again, that's kind of just one of those like um, impulsive things that I do sometimes. So I'm just like, what do I want to make today? And I can't think of anything. I'm like, oh, I'll just do completionist. So I have no idea. Possibly tomorrow. I don't have a lot of time for recording tomorrow. So that might be a good one there. Completionist is easy because all I got to do is play through a few days. Then just edit it instead of coming up with an idea that may or may not work. 
only to find out that it does not work. By the way, to make harvesting easier, use harvest with a scythe, a sickle, whatever it's called. There's a few mods that do it. CJB Cheats does do it, and that's the one I'm using, which is easiest because that does everything all in one. But look at this. Instead of picking these all one by one, I can harvest that many all at once. I don't know how many that is, though. How many is that? Lots. We'll go with lots. I'm not going to count. What mod is the map from? This is Immersive Farm. It's on Nexus Mods. Like I said, I forgot to post a link. But there's a few links posted throughout chat and I'll post one on the video once this one gets uploaded. Gonna be a good one. Gonna be a good one. Why are you hacking? No hacking, cheating. Big difference. Modding, technically. Modding and cheating though are basically the same thing to me. Not something that you can naturally do in the game. And I like it. I've always really liked using exploits and glitches. Keeping you Timmy's ice coffee if you live close to me. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Tim says I've got iced coffee and ice caps and everything. Good stuff. Okay, I already got that area. I'm already forgetting what I've harvested. Okay, let's look around the house. Make sure we're not forgetting anything up here. There's one there. Got it. And we'll do this little pocket. Run from the fruit. Yeah, you can actually make it chasey for ways. And play fruit tag. Hard to see though. Get them all to group up. Then collect them. Play hard to get with my crops. It's something I do. These can be worth a lot of money. Like a lot of money. Which is good because I only have $500. So to harvest all these normally, it would take you about half an hour if you're doing it by hand just to pick them. About half an hour according to my estimate. It normally takes about 10 minutes, uh, give or take, to harvest uh, about 3,400. That's like best case scenario, that's really doing it right, so. Other than that, it's gonna take you a while. That's what I'm doing with the scythe. You could do it probably a third of the time. Probably still take me 10 minutes, but it's a lot more enjoyable too. Just run, click, run, click, run, click, and let the magnets do their work. Super sucky power. Now make it all into wine. Yeah. What does wine take? 28 days? If you age it anyway. I don't know what the actual wine time is, but no thank you. I remember doing that experiment before where like I aged everything. I can't remember what it was. I think rare fruit or star fruit maybe into wine just to see like what the most valuable thing you could possibly do was. It was kind of cool. I like doing things like that. Shayna Smick, hello, welcome. Welcome. You're late to the party. That's okay though, we're still going strong. Oh. Mini stretch there. Gotta take those micro breaks. Okay, we'll go that way. Almost there. Once again, getting mesmerized. I think that's the most efficient way to do it. I think you can get five spaces. So if you sit on like the third one down, you can get five. Five wide, four wide, something like that. And just clear a swath. Just like that. I need like higher power magnets though. I'm still losing a few. They get away. That's only because I'm moving too fast though. Too fast for all these. Yeah, right there. There's your five wide. That's progress. I'm gonna need to make some room here. I don't need those tools anyway. 
Just a man and his scythe on a mission. Almost there. Almost there. A lot of people told me too I should try and fill my field full of meteorites, but you know how long that would take? I think you get like one per year, sort of, depending on luck. So that would take hundreds of years. Probably take you like a hundred hours just of grinding through time to make that happen. I don't got time for that. It wouldn't be worth it. It'd be kind of a cool video in the end, but the views to the amount of time put into it would not be not be good at all. Would I ever do a Starbound series? Uh, I would consider it. I played Starbound a bit, but can't believe how many people love watching you do this. I'm surprised too. Cause I don't even love, I don't even love like this monotonous stuff. But people are watching it, so hey, why not? Well, I guess for a lot of people, it really is just like free entertainment. Cause you know. I'm not asking a lot for people to be here. All they gotta do is tune in and watch. They don't have to pay for like, it's not like a TV channel where you gotta pay for cable or like pay for episodes. You're just here. That's all. Though to be fair, I'd rather be watching HBO right now than whatever this is. Game of Thrones? Yes, please. Should start like a Game of Thrones Stardew Valley mod. You gotta play everyone else or you die. We're getting there though. We love all you do, DF. Thank you. I think I'm almost done this lower field now, then I can move over to the big one. And the big one goes fast, of course, because it's all pretty like square. Looking forward to it. Yeah, turn this all into wine for Pam. She could power through it in like a day and a half. <clears throat> then rage when it's all gone. How about that hot Pam mod though? Isn't that the best? Can I do a playthrough of Terraria? Uh, nope. I don't think Terraria is going to happen. Considered it. And nah. Terraria I like play on my phone when I'm like at the airport and stuff. <clears throat> That's normally when I play Terraria. Other than that I don't really play it that much. how long it would take picking slowly uh like i was saying earlier like half an hour <clears throat> give or take might be more might be less long time no there's no way i was gonna pick that by hand no way nothing 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 oh there are still some in the tunnel they're trying to get away from me if they didn't get finished for whatever reason. Curious. I don't know why they do that. Sometimes they grow unevenly and I've never been able to figure out why. It's like they miss getting watered for one day for some reason and I don't know why. We're gonna go right down the center. Right down Main Street. With the highlight video? Oh yeah, this will be the best highlight video ever. Super exciting. Lots of good content out of this one. Just me doing this crap again and again and again. For almost two and a half hours already. Wow. Time flies when you're having fun. I don't know what's wrong with you people. Why you want to watch this? 
But then again, I'm the one doing it. We'll just work our way back around. Just about there, another five minutes probably, and I'll have this all buttoned up and we can go sell it. And then we'll go do some community center minecart type stuff. That'll be fun. Just a little more. I only watch the actual stream and not the highlights. Yeah, some people some people watch one or the other. I feel like most of my like viewers will, will watch the stream over the highlights, but I like to have both. Because some people don't like or just don't have the time to sit here for two and a half hours to watch me do that. This. So then they watch the edited version and, you know, easier that way, quicker. Just the, just the important stuff. People like the live streams though for the interaction like this, how they can whatever ask me stuff and I can answer or make fun of them. Whatever it is they want to do. I'm gonna do the outside first, the edges like a puzzle. Try to catch every stream but work sucks yeah and that's the other thing too like when you have viewers from all over the world you're always going to be like leaving people out and just simple simply from time zones because i normally like to stream like my optimal time would be early afternoon but i can't always get away with that now we'll go right up here oh gotta be a little bit more over it's hard on speed 10 to control this little guy. There we go, I'm getting five wide anyway. You swing farther to your right than to your left with the scythe, so if you want to get maximum efficiency, you gotta sit a little bit to your right. Left? A little bit to your left. I like the popping sounds it makes. It makes me feel like cartoony bubble wrap or something. Almost got it couple more of those we we'll go left now horizontal starting to get tired again I was perking up for a while at the end of this seating now that the seating's done, I need a nap. And a drink. We'll get to that. Just about there, like I said, another five minutes. It's amazing, I'm doing this all before 6 a.m. too. A real go-getter. That's how quick I am. Get my seating done in no time flat. Anyone want to make bets on how much this is worth? 10,000 valuable ancient fruits. Gonna be pretty valuable. Then I can go find myself a gold digger like Pam. She'll be all about it. Pam cakes. Go for a jog after this stream? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know yet. Maybe more uh, backpack space? Yeah, I was wondering that. If I have to, I'll just go sell some and then come back and harvest the rest. I'm on it. I don't know. Usually after a stream, I'm like really tired because it is actually like mentally fatiguing to like think and talk for two and a half hours straight. Sounds weird, but it's true. So tired. Normally after the streams, I just like play a game or something for a bit just to kind of like unwind and like let my brain decompress unwind I don't know what the proper term is for that but
a gin kind of guy. Yeah, how about that? Five wide all the way up. So this is getting really small now. Especially after this pass, this impressive swath. Yeah, my wrist is actually getting sore from doing this, from clicking so much. I've adjusted position just a few times, but it's not doing it. Work the way back down. Over 9,000, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna run out of space pretty quick too. Unless I get a lot of gold quality ones all of a sudden, but that's not gonna happen. Um, okay, I'm just gonna work my way straight left and then I'm gonna go back to sell all these because I'm gonna need more room. Okay, to the bins, I gotta sell all this. I gotta throw all this in the bins. I've actually maxed out my backpack already. I think the fastest way back is actually gonna be to go through the bus stop, am I right? I think I'm right, because then I'm right here. Ooh, nailed it. Bum, 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 bum. So that's over 10,000 right there. Easily enough. Can't go that way. One there. Almost forgot that little guy. There we go. Where's the way through? Right here? Gotcha. Either way, it's probably a similar distance. I think I lied. The bus stop's probably a little shorter, though. If you want to be all technical about it. What's my favorite liquor? Uh, gin. Things always get gin interesting. Keep going up, keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. That's right. Multiplayer comes out. I'm just going to make everyone else do all this. I'm going to sit there and laugh at them. I'm like, this is how it feels. Walk them out while it, walk them out in my shoes, people. Is harvesting water endlessly. Keep going down. I can't believe this took two and a half hours to do. I was worried, like, when I started this idea. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get it done too fast. I'm gonna have to have something else to do. Nope. Nope, not at all. How many spaces on this farm? Yeah, a little over 10,000, I think. What's my favorite food? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not really sure. I really do like like just a good burger. Goes a long ways. That's like my typical, like if I could have anything right now, that's what it would be. So probably burger. I'll go with that. I'll gladly serve you someone comes in. This is still going on. Yeah, unfortunately it is. I was hoping this would be like a 45 minute idea. And then I'd like screw around for the community center and be like, okay, bye. But nope. Two and a half hours and I'm still not done. That's okay. We're all having a good time, aren't we? I'd probably go insane if I were DF. Well, DF might have gone insane a long time ago. You can only harvest these things so many times before you lose your mind. There we are. Going down there. Perfect. Now I come back up in one clean row and I think I got it. Oh yeah, this is going to be a lot more spaces, because I was basing my uh, estimate of spaces off sprinkler layout, so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to add it all up like on my phone or something manually once these are done. Or I can guesstimate. Maybe I'll get someone else to do it for me. Nah, that'll take too long. I'll do it myself. I'll, I won't be that lazy. I've already gone this far. I might as well add the numbers up. This has been going on forever. Now I need one that's 10 times as big. I need 100,000 plants in a single harvest. Someone make it. Gold Rush Draco, why am I still here? You know why. There. I think that's the last one. And if it's not, I don't care. These are going in the bin. Then overnight we're going to see the value. And I'm going to count these mofos. See how many we got. Easy peasy. And there you go, one, two, three, four. Okay. Total earnings minus 500, uh, yeah, I'll just add them all up. 
I gotta turn my speed down now because it's too hard to get into bed when I'm super speed. Okay, so the value of these stupid, stupid plants are... Uh, I think that might be 65 million. 6 million or 65 million? I can't tell yet. Uh, no, it'll only be 6 million, I think. So, that's the money we got. And they're worth six, a little over 6 million gold. And I can try and add these up real quick. I don't really, yeah, I'll add them up on stream. That's fine. You guys have waited this long. What's a little more? Uh, so what do we got? 999 times 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hold on. I'm losing track. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10,000 right there, basically. Let me write this down so I can get the proper numbers. 9990 plus 6692. I'm too tired to do this in my head, in case you're wondering. Three, five, uh, three, five, three. Three, five, three plus uh, 477 equals plus zero. 11,512. 11,512. I did that in a hurry, so I might be off by a few, but that's how many we get. 11,512 worth 6.5 million. That's not bad, though. That's not bad. I'll take that. Also, when I looked at my phone, I looked at all the text and stuff I've been missing. Why did you give me all my tools back? I don't want those. Whatever. Well, there you go. 6,523,979 gold. And Demetrius is here. I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. Demetrius, please go away. I'm busy. Uh, bats. 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 Okay, real quick, I'm going to go do the community center because I want to get the minecarts done to see where those take me. Oh, I can't do the community center. Oh, maybe I can. Hold on. Because we're far enough into the game. I just got to go through a cutscene. I think we'll see the wizard and blah, blah, blah. We got this. Because I think you got to go see the community center first, then go see... Oh, it's the mail. I remember now. Oh, we screw this part up. You gotta check the mail, then it's a the cutscene, then I think it's the Junimos, then the wizard, something like that. That's one thing the speed mod isn't good for, is like trying to read the mail and stuff, because you can't move, like it doesn't like register. There. Backpack is full. I could use a bigger backpack. But I've already harvested over 11,000 plants without it. Yeah, my farming skill didn't level up there at all, so. FYI. Harvested all that. Farming skill level zero still. Robin lost her axe. Egg festival. So much mail. Well, whatever. The community center's in there somewhere. Now, I think I gotta wait a day before I can go do that anyway. Am I right? Okay, Let's see what else we can get going on here. Um, there was a new mail there. I just want to make sure that that's not the one. It shouldn't be this late in summer. Ah, whatever. I don't care. I'm in a hurry now. I'm impatient. I've been playing too long already. Community center? Community center? No? Still nothing? No? Locked. Hmm. Is there something else that activates it? Unfreeze time. That's the problem. Time not frozen anymore. Okay, I'm going to sleep overnight so that kind of registers. Move speed back to normal. Oh, that's just a stupid... Cookies! I'll take cookies. So much mail. Morning and summer. Why is there so much mail? I feel like there's not normally this much. Cake. Cookies and cake. Now we'll do this properly. 
8 a.m. Oh, okay. Read the chat, goddammit. Yeah, I just did. I always do that. I, like, struggle with the problem forever. And the, the answer is in the chat already, like, eight times. So. 10 a.m. Oh, yeah. Cheating it on in. Skip. Now, I think I need to go in there first, then I'll go see the wizard, something like that. Or then I gotta check the mail, then do the wizard. I always forget the order of this, because I never do it. This. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed, check with the wizard. Actually, I can warp. Why am I running around everywhere? So stupid. Can I go to bed full speed? I can. Nice. What is this map called? This is Immersive. Immersive Farm. Back to it. There he is, the wizard. The wizard needs me. I could run all the way across my field, though. I don't even know how to get through it. Over here. Keep going down. Just like Pam. Gonna take the long way around. Keep going. Uh, actually, it's up here. Ooh, getting too tired. Can't focus. Ooh, minecart here. Out of order. I didn't realize there was one there. I think the minecart network is just like a more extensive network. Ah, come in. Yes, good. Now, can I do it right away, the community center? Is there one more step? I can't remember. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, and the bigger backpack for the community center bundles? I'll do that, sure. Let's go see Pierre. I'm going to run there because I like moving fast. Pierre's isn't open yet, so I'm going to force them open. I'm going to force Pierre open. Moving speed down. Give me that backpack. By the way, Jojimard's better. You suck, Pierre. Where is he? He's not even here. I'll go ahead and take that. No big deal. I'll go ahead and take that. Also no big deal. Full speed ahead. Let's go fix some community center crap. Okay, so... Starting with, I guess, any of these, really. Spring. So, uh, is there one just for foraging? I don't want to type these out. Foraging fruits. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm trying to think of all the ones I need offhand. That one. Don't think I need that one. That one. That one. I feel like I'm missing, definitely missing a few there, but let's donate these right now. That one, oh, I do need the mushroom and stuff. Uh, spring's the one I'm focused on right now. I should do one at a time. That one, that one, that one, and that one. No, not that one. Uh, oh, the leak. I need a leak. Um, forage, where is it? Is it not on there? There it is. Okay, that's spring done. Crushed. Now, which one is spring? That one. I'm losing my mind already. Oh, no, not that. Ugh. Painful. So painful. Reward. Yay. Seeds that I don't want or need. Which one does the minecarts? I don't even remember now. Fish tank? I don't remember what does what. You know what? I've got a fast way of doing this. I don't know why I'm wasting my time at the community center. Obviously, we're going to do it the fast way. Waste more of my precious time. Everyone's favorite, Jojimart. Five thousand gold? I'll take it. back tomorrow okay so I gotta go see him tomorrow and then we can do the minecarts. Warp locations, farm, to bed, 
full speed ahead now. Mm. No, not Jojo. Yeah, everyone's gonna lose their mind now. Do a new series with a makeshift multiplayer? Yeah, I thought about that. I still probably will. <clears throat> Take that chat. Enjoy some Jojo Mart. I know how much you guys all love this. I'm gonna run Pierre right out of business. Um, anyways, I was just checking for something. Okay, let's do this, Mr. Jojo Mart Man. Yes. See, there we go. Minecarts. It's that easy. We'll do everything else while we're at it. Oh, only one a day, I think. Okay. Now, let's try these bad boys out. Out of order. Oh, tomorrow, I guess. Tomorrow. Uh, Gaming with Tayo, thank you for your donation. Sounds like you're having a problem there. Um, not sure what you want me to do about that. I would seek help of several kinds if that's the case. Let's go to bed. Minecart should be there tomorrow. Come on. Come on, there they go. That's how you fix a minecart, by the way. One person, like, pokes it with a screwdriver and then it just hammers on the side of it. Absolutely accurate. Um, okay. Let's try the minecarts. Where do these go? Oh, look at all the fun areas we get. Beach, woods, desert, quarry. I like that none of them are, like, unlocked, though. Do I have to find them first? What's the deal with that? Quarry's not unlocked. Desert isn't unlocked. The woods should be. Is that secret woods? What are we talking about? Beach? Yeah, I think you just gotta unlock the areas. Otherwise, it won't let you there. So. Let's see how this goes. Ah, uh, Willy, go away. Really? I just warped to the other area. Stupid game. There we go. Rainbow shell. Is there a minecart here somewhere? Yeah, there it is. See, now I can go back to the farm. Still won't let me go to the beach, though, because I haven't technically unlocked yet. I gotta fix the bridge. This is handy, though, because like, if you want to go to the desert in a hurry, it's right here. You want to go to the quarry, that corner of the map, it's there. Woods. I wonder if that's secret woods. Let's go take a look. I like how they do that. That's really cool. Um, stir fry. Nice. I don't know why I'm checking this. I have everything I could ever possibly need. Except for a pig with a hat. That would be kind of the icing on the cake. Need a new axe. Here we go. Now, okay, there's the minecart right here. So this one should be active now anyway because I've unlocked the secret woods. Yeah, there you go. So desert, quarry, beach. Could unlock all those, but meh. I can warp anywhere anyway. I just wanted to see how they worked and where they go. Anyways, I think that's going to be about it for this stream. Two hours and 45 minutes later. So thank you all for showing up. Thank you for the comments. Thanks again to Discord and Kira for helping me get this mod figured out. Wouldn't have done it without you. Uh, like I said, more videos continuing. Channel maybe going to have some changes in the upcoming week. Need to kind of refocus things and see what I want to do. Uh, so this video will be uploaded shortly. I'll put a link to the mod in the description. That way you guys can all see it and try it for yourself. Other than like that, hope you like this one. Thanks for watching. Wait for the stream to catch up.